Back to Briggins, folks, and another one of my all-time favourite places. And if any of our followers would like to experience the mighty Briggins, there is always a chance of a lucky ticket with Tweedle, the online competition platform that offers several days for a few pounds per ticket. You'll never know your luck. Morning, everybody. Well, stood outside one of our favourite hotels, the Briggins. So, everybody who watches my uh, channel will know exactly where we are. Uh, the weather is absolutely perfect for it. Overcast. It's very, very gentle breeze. Ideal for showing eye birds, and that's what we've come to shoot today. Some, uh, some of the uh, best birds in the country. Well, everybody will probably recognise this backdrop and recognise this chap, Richard Crofts, looks after one of the, what I call, one of the best shoots in the world. Lots, as you say, a lot of good shoots out yeah. there. Um, no pressure today, Dave, by the no. way, um, you know, saying you're, you're, you're doing the best of the world series and we'll do our very best and I'm, I'm sure it'll be a great day. But like you say, there's lots of good shoots out here yeah. and it's lovely to see people from yeah. all walks of life coming yeah. and from all over the world as well. Yeah. We've got something so unique in this country. You know, the, the rest of the world is so envious of what we've got. And I, I, I'm hopefully that our government will, will, will back the countryside and the countryside sports in such a manner that they cannot ever close it down. You know? Absolutely. I mean, we've, you know, we've found that a lot of people are very, very into shooting and it's really good. And a lot of young generation coming through as well. But right, we do yeah. need the support from, from yeah. the powers that be as well. Anyway. We're, we're here to, to come have a fantastic day, uh, which we always do at Briggins, and uh, hopefully we'll have some great footage to show you later on. Thanks very much, mate. Thank you. Lovely to be here again. Yeah, lovely to have you. <laughs> here we are on the first drive, and uh, uh, Tommy's one of the most difficult drives, would you say, Gillum? One of the most difficult Definitely. drives in the shooting world. And uh, he's, he's fetched his ear first. I'd have rather done something else, but if you don't get your eye in ear straight away, you can, uh, you can get your ass kicked proper. It's so prehistoric, these whales. It's, uh, I love coming here every year. I just love it. You farm these, these lands, don't you? Yes. Yeah, you, are we on your land now? We don't know. No, no. We're, we'll be going there later on. When we go back, to, when we go to uh, Waterfall. Waterfall, yes. Yeah. And uh, so as Gitty, many a time he's told me that uh, you know shooting the shooting income is is a is a great uh, income for them every year when the when the, when sheep's not doing so well. And it's been very poor for a lot of years, but I hear that he's doing he's doing very well it's this year. Going, well this, going year, very yeah. well this year, isn't he? So, but you still enjoy to see the shoot I, the shooting sports. It goes part for part, doesn't it? Yeah. First drive, the legendary Tommies. Well, I don't get my ass kicked that much, but these were on another level. For some reason, I suspect the heavy mist. The birds went straight out, 80 yards plus, just carried on. Not many screwing down to 60 to 80 yards as per normal. I think I had about eight birds for 90 odd shots. That was selective, picking through what I thought I could kill. I've never seen them fly like that before, and my lord uh, said the same. There were not many smiley faces off this drive. It was incredible.
Jesus, so there's never seen them fly as high as that before up here. They won't not, I didn't, I'd say, yeah, odd one or two, that's all that were killable. Yeah. Everything else were under, it never come round, did it? No. Never, no. just no. went straight for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shot a few nice and that, but I'll tell you what, I waste a lot of fucking pellets trying to get them. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you see that one get shot and come back round the, round the back in front? Yeah. How do you get on, Tom? Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Usually they'll come screwing down and you'll get them between 65 and 85 yard up and you get them. The faster, you know, you've got to get moving on them, but then things never came down at all. Well, we're on the oaks now and see if we can get a few birds on camera. Uh, unfortunately, we got his ass kicked on the last one. Uh, with that bit of mist on, the, the birds just never came down. They just carried on straight out and they were, they were too high, really. What was it in range where they shot at? Second drive, the mighty oaks, a real favourite of mine. Birds come off at height and great speed at so many different angles. You really do have to be on the ball with these birds. The mist had cleared by this time and birds were flying magnificently at 55 to 85 yards. Luckily, I had no one to my right who had plenty of good shooting on some corking long crosses. Anyway, confidence restored with some great shots on the camera and smiley faces returning. Thank God. Oh, that's just nice. That. They're just, the I mean, they're just in range, aren't they? You know what I mean? The, you can have a bit of sport there, can't you? Well, wow, that was epic, that. The Oaks, my, one of my favourite drives in the country. <clears throat> I hope everybody gets a chance to uh, to shoot it that, uh, that likes eyebird shooting. You know, they are uh, from 55 yard to 75, 80 yard up, but just pick through them and there's some bloody corking birds. Every angle that you can think of, you know, you don't, uh, you track the bird and uh, it can turn in a whisper on this drive. Lovely, absolutely spot on. Well, I've got a nice one in front of you there. Yeah. Hi. Drive, the gully, a very nice drive for everyone, doing good birds all down the line. In all, a very pleasant, enjoyable drive. 
and everybody was able to get their eye back in. In fact, everybody was smiling coming up that drive. That's what it is all about, is, is everybody enjoying the day. Not just I bird shooting for everybody, You've got to have a, a mix of everything for everybody. One thing about the brigands, they can give you a spanking on one drive and then take you to another and put a smile on your face. That's exactly what it's all about. Good crosses, good you know, twisting all over the place. It's some really good run crosses. Yeah, got to work, got to work for everyone there, don't you? Really? Yeah, yeah. You can't wait to get the young one into shooting then. No, that's the plan. Ah, brilliant. Yeah. Well, the more the merrier, mate. Have you got any daughters? No, just the one son. Just the so, one son. Yeah. You want more and more girls involved in shooting because yeah. it just it keeps it away from the, the man cave all the time. <laughs> Everybody thinks there's only men shoot, you see, but a lot of women coming into shooting now, which is great to see. You know, they fix the kids along as well, you see. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, fantastic drive that, mate. What they call this drive? This is uh, the gully. The gully. Ah, lovely. Brilliant. Did you get? Did you shoot one? Come down like Mary Poppins like that. Oh, very hey, well shot. No, well shot, mate. Listen, yeah, train I saw some monsters come down Dave, there. Trained by the best. Yeah, remember that? I know that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Trained yeah. by the best. Yeah. Trained by the best. Trained by the best. Trained by the best. If they want that end, they'll be on forever. Let him have two of it and him both. Yeah, but he well, it's a good job Giles were there at, at rescuing old Rodders out there. Yeah. Well done, Giles. <laughs> 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 that didn't clear it up. I did slow it down a little bit. He did slow it down. drive and a great finish to the day. Birds of all speeds and angles hurtling down from a hanging wood on a massive hill. I really enjoyed this as it was nice to see good birds being taken all down the line. Once again I'd like to thank the Brigands team for a fantastic day.
Good finish anyway, buddy. No, good. Absolutely good fantastic, Dean. I know you struggle around with the thing, but it don't really bother us when, you got to, when you've got us to where you want us. Yeah. It don't really bother us, does it? You know. Yeah, just stick to the drives that the fogs aren't yeah. there, really. But we leave us in good stead for tomorrow, weather permitting. Yeah, well, it, it's never altered from last time I come, Richard. It's still the best. Yeah, well, that's you know, fine. It's still one of the best in the country. Fingers crossed. You it know. continues to be that. I think it will. I don't think I'll have a problem with that now. I mean, I don't think that it's not easy to get a deer now, is it? It's, no, it's they always not. generally filled up. No, no it's yeah. really not. And that's a, it's a real compliment to us as well, you know, that people want to come yeah. to the deepest, darkest whales and come but and the, come the, and the beauty about it, even the, even the, the, the overseas uh, guns want to come and shoot it now, so which is great. You know, the more the, more the merrier. And I look this way, mate. <coughs> we can strengthen our shooting community by inviting more and more overseas guns to come and shoot our, our wonderful shooting arenas because we have some well yeah, i think we've got we have the best in the world i agree that yeah. and this is certainly come and share some of their money in the uk yeah yeah well the, well at the end of the day i mean why would you stop something that's attracting money to the uk Absolutely. why would you want to do that you know only somebody that's got a mental deficiency would want to do that you know when, yeah. when people are willing to come over here and spend you know millions of pounds every year foreign business as well you know when i go to scotland and i was filming at trump turnberry there you know that man spent 200 million on that hotel they threw they threw the potatoes and stones at his helicopter when he first came there now we employ 660 people all the all the local people you know now he's a hero well, well done for today mate no, good to see you again see, see what happens tomorrow wow fingers crossed <laughs> lovely